Hey everybody, it's Yvette, and I hope you guys are all having a good day. So, I actually um, have a couple things to kind of go over with you guys. I wanted to show you guys my little mini haul that I actually went and made myself go shopping over the weekend because I really needed to keep myself occupied. And I didn't film anything yesterday like I wanted to because I just couldn't. I wasn't ready yet. And um, I did want to start off by just saying thank you to everybody for all of the love and the hope and the drive for me to get past this. And I am so sorry if I start crying, but I, I just, my life isn't the same and I don't know how to cope with this. So I am slowly getting past it day by day and it's just been really really hard for me and I'm sorry I think I'm gonna start crying so I'm gonna insert a few pictures right now of my dear little Toby and I hope you guys understand why I miss him so much and it's because he was just my pride and joy so anyways here's little Toby myself I'm gonna go do some shopping I just really tried to remember all the times when we went shopping together and I would just open my purse like just open the handles and he would just jump in he didn't care if I had my wallet and everything in there he just he would sit on it he didn't even care and we would just go he was just so happy to be in the car to be in my purse <laughs> I had the best memories with that dog ever. I know I didn't do a whole lot of shopping, but to me it was something, especially because I just didn't even want to get out of the house. Like I didn't even want to take my pajamas off and I told myself, not happening. Toby would be really mad at you. I mean, we went everywhere together. But I did go to lunch with my friend Casey and then I went and did some shopping and I had like a 20% off my whole purchase at Ulta which was just awesome. So the first thing I picked up was another deep pore cleansing Clarisonic brush head because I needed to change mine so I needed one of those. Surprise, surprise, another Batiste a light and blonde dry shampoo. I mean I, I needed one. I used one up within like three weeks so I buy them like every time I'm in Ulta. Um, I did finish up that little sample of the one and only argan oil that I was showing you guys. So I got the full size and it's such a great price. I think it was $11.99 and I just really love it. It says instant shine, smoothness, frizz control, color protection, alcohol free. Uh, but this is the amazing product that really gives my hair that extra volume and like just lift and just I love it so definitely worth it if you haven't tried this one I do recommend it it's kind of hidden it's 
It's by um, kind of like where the dry shampoos are, but they only have like two or three products, so you kind of miss them. Like you walk right past it, but they're there. Then I picked up the Murad Clarifying Mask, and it says it absorbs pore clogging dirt and oil, and it draws out impurities, delivers a powerful acne medication to reduce breakouts. Now, I mean, I don't have like an issue with like acne. That's not my thing. I just get clogged pores. So I asked my favorite lady at Ulta if she likes, and she says her daughter uses it because she's got the same problem as me and it works wonders for her so i picked that up then i got the urban decay naked gloss in streak which i have it on today but i must say i don't know if i'm a fan of it i'm kind of disappointed especially for a lip gloss being 20 dollars. i was expecting it to be like wow and don't get me wrong it swatches really pretty on the hand but it doesn't go on that well. It like shears out any lipstick I have on. If you put too much on, then it starts to kind of, um, not run, but yeah, kind of like run. It like gets like past my lip liner and all that stuff, which I never have a problem with. And it doesn't smell that good. Like, oh my gosh, it smells like this plasticky menthol, stuff I, I i can't even explain it i'm just kind of disappointed with it it's a beautiful color that is why i really was hoping it was going to work especially for spring but the formula just sucks so take it from me don't don't even go out and waste your money on it because i'm just not i'm not happy with it so yesterday i went and had a microdermabrasion done in the morning and let me just say i've never had one done but I am obsessed with them already. Like, it was amazing. It was the best facial I've ever had in my whole life. And I went to a new lady, and I just, I really, really love her. And it's like, she works out of her house. She, like, turned her husband's, like, man cave into, like, the coziest spa little room I've ever even been in. She had like a fireplace going and I went like 8.30 in the morning so it was still kind of like cold and oh it was so amazing. And I love how Margot was kind of all about using like organic things and her line was more on like the organic side and stuff like that. Not full of like chemicals and, and all that stuff. So I mean she did like peels and masks and she just did so much on my face yesterday and I was just wowed by it. Now the cleanser she used on me yesterday was actually a line that she carries and it's called Skin Script. And this is the glycolic cleanser with antioxidants. And what I love is that there are not very many ingredients in here. And I felt the tingling right away and she says she uses this morning and night with her Clarisonic. And let me tell you, she is 61 and she looked like she was in her 30s. Her skin looked amazing and she said she's been using this for four years and her skin has just changed. And I'm almost out of the Murad 30 day kit. So I was like, okay, why not? I'll try this. It was only $29. So the prices are awesome. They're not expensive. And she has, you know, stuff for oily skin, dry skin, combo skin, and you can even look on their website, skinscript.com, I think. So it says that this is an anti-aging and blemish control cleanser, encourages rapid cellular turnover to reveal fresh, healthy skin while releasing trapped oil beneath the surface of the skin. So that's kind of what I need on a daily basis. So I wanted to get this and try it out. It smells really, really good. Kind of like tangerines and oh, just... It's awesome. And then I also purchased, she um, used the cucumber toner on me. Really similar to the Mario Badescu one that I have, which I'm almost out of too. And the only difference is it has hyaluronic acid and omega-6 in it. And it's in like a spray bottle, but it's, I think it was like 19, no, it was $20. So it's almost the same price too. 
but I just I felt like this really amazing cooling effect with it and everything right away I asked her I said what is that because it's awesome so I got that but she had to order that one because she was out of stock so I should probably have that by at least next weekend which is perfect because then I can use up my my other one so I'm just hoping that these products work for me as good as they work for her because she just looked phenomenal for her age I mean when she told me she was 61, I thought she was lying to me. She goes, no, girl, I'm serious. And um, she said all of her sisters, she's got like four other sisters, and they all use it, and they've all had amazing results. So who knows? It might, it might be holy grail. So we'll just have to see. Then I went into Target because I had to do some grocery shopping for Eric. Because he has to have his chips and his soda and all that stuff. But I really fell in love with this little Pink Floyd graphic tee. Um, it's a uh, small and it was only $12 so I really like that and let me see I don't who was this by it doesn't say but it's kind of like where all the graphic tees are but I really liked it I love the color I love dark blue so I picked that up and then I went into home goods and TG Maxx to look for for just clothes and then I mean even Nordstrom Rack like I was just shopping for hours and I walked out with nothing in my hand at Home Goods and TJ Maxx which has like never happened before and then I I went and looked at shoes and stuff at Nordstrom Rack I didn't find anything I didn't find any like tops or nothing so I was mad and I was like you know I'm gonna go try some jeans on so I have like eight pairs of jeans and there's only one pair that I fell in love with. Now, with me, when I find a pair of jeans that fit like no other, I have to buy them. So that's my biggest thing. And they, they felt amazing. And these are actually um, the Page, and I believe they are the Mercy. But they're a size 27, and they're more on the stretchy side, which I really do love. And they're just, a, you know, regular skinny. But what I loved is that they have a little zipper detail on the bottom. And, oh, it's so cute. But it fits me like a glove. And I never pass up anything that I'm so, like, thrilled with. But, yeah, I do love these. So I did get them. And, I mean, no pocket detail or anything. They're pretty plain. Paige is always more on the plain side. But... I love them and they were only hmm, let's see it said regularly they were 168 and I got them for 79.97 so that's a pretty good deal but so that's all I got um, I mean I I tried I really do try to buy more but I couldn't I just couldn't find anything and I'm not just gonna buy things just to buy things I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you for watching and thank you for being amazing and helping me through this really, really hard time. And it's just, I can't say thank you enough. So, love you guys so much. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.